Is that a cucumber? No, it's a fish. A zoom oh, in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Oh. Uh, Can you see a s skeleton on his head? No, they have those weird heads. I think this one is the Basagigas. Cuskiel. I'll check on that in a second. But. That. I think cool. Steve had said that same he did. ID for a very similar looking one last watch. I think that it's Vasica, I guess. Is this the one, like the one we saw the other day that had the scars kind of on its face? Oh, I, I don't they're think I was there for the that. Body, they're all yeah. getting so, yeah. they're blending <laughs> together. Like together. Fish. <laughs> all right, can we come wide, please? I got my photos. I think I was wrong on that sponge. It's probably Amphidicella. This one. And now I'm trying to figure out why I was thinking Hyalinema. Many animals yet that we can see currently. Bridge now, but here we are in the point waypoint six three it? zero meters west, please. We're or five. We are just five, uh, five just down one. downhill of <laughs> west point uh, waypoint five. So it's quite still quite deep. Yeah, it is still quite deep. I feel like it's not usually till 22 or so that it gets a little yeah. more interesting. But you know, I think some of the watches have seen Dumbo octopuses in sparse fauna rock grounds on slopes. Just saying. <laughs> Any moment. Any moment now. And action. <gasps> oh. I was really hoping for one right there. <laughs> nice that would have been amazing. Yeah, definitely a, a couple questions in the chat about the dive site. So yes, we are on the same site we dove yesterday. Um, recovered Hercules for a little bit of maintenance and back where we were, where we st where we left off at mm. waypoint five. It's so beautiful. Well, I don't know if you see any rocks or something. <laughs> oh, did you say C or? <laughs> I was thinking about that, but they collected so many rocks on the last one that I am think one bio. was close to this. Oh no, we should definitely get rocks too, but. I think we can wait a little bit before we click to the next one. Since this is a geo, uh, Rob was mentioning that it would be interesting to get rocks at the top as well, right? Yeah. To see if there's yeah. any carbonate. Well, carbonate and also if there's carbonate and then higher up more volcanic rock, uh -huh. in indicating maybe like another volcanic eruption of some kind after. Can you come up in Delta? Yeah.
Thank you. Yeah. I was promised a Dumbo octopus. <laughs> or the gates to Atlantis. All I got or was something. this dead sponge. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Come on. We'll see. It's been eight minutes on the bottom, folks. <laughs> These are really cool Radiation. lava flows, though. You can see, yes, like, layers upon layers. Is you this can what almost they see them oozing still. Is this what they would refer to as pillowy? Well, they keep saying the pillowy yeah, rocks. The, I think that they would call this more the lobate flows. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But I'm not a geologist. So. Yeah, I'm, I've got my little cheat sheet over here, but that, it actually does look like what you were just saying. So the pillow, f the pillow basalts are more, they're still bubbly, but they're kind of larger. Yeah, larger. Um, rounded structures. Yeah, and then sometimes, like, you'll see a, if one is broken at the end, there are these kind of radial fractures yeah. around the outside. The truncated pillows, as uh, right. somebody yeah. in the science chat was saying the other yeah. day. Three zero west, please. Thank you. There's a white thing. Oh, where? It was just out of frame uh, to the back. Go on back. <clears throat> oh, that. oh, it looks like a little echinoderm. We should totally take a look at it right there. All right. <laughs> you start zooming in, panels. Just a warning, if this is cool, I might want to collect it. Sure. But if it's nothing, if it does look like an echinoderm, it's hard to see because it's so white. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's the five <coughs> five points. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, um, I think the only hope would be to slurp it and place it in, in a box, in a bio box. Okay. How do you feel if about that, Mike? You comfortable? If well, we could, um, we want to slurp it. Yeah. If we could, before getting it, get it like a good in Bridge in situ now. image of it. Yeah, sure. Um, maybe with lower, or with a less bright iris setting. Can we hold position, please? Thanks, Lynette. Thank <laughs> what is it? Holding position. <laughs> <laughs> How was the uh, sediment sample? Uh, it didn't have a C pen in it, and that Aww. made us sad. And the worst part is, we we really thought it was in there. Like I could yeah. have sworn I saw it in there when we took off the jar. It was there too. And so then we woke up Haisa because we were like, she's gonna hate us if we process this, and she doesn't get to look at it. And then she came down. And she's like, it was so nice of you to wake me up, but there's no C pen in here. No. <laughs> like I'll oh, take it. Sorry. Bridge now. <clears throat> Can we have two zero meters east, please? Thank you. I'm wondering what this creature is doing there alone. <laughs> yeah, right. What are you eating? And uh, we don't see... Oh, wow. Look the crustacean of the these are uh, these buckets aren't getting rinsed out they'd be bryozoans and then full zoom in is it me or does that look like an uncrustable <laughs> <laughs> yeah i see it <laughs>
Uh, yeah, we have good images. Sorry, thank you. Okay. Uh, can we come wide, please? Of course. Can we tr put the down lights on? Por favor. Um, I think. I think you have a scope there. What do you think? Or do you want to get closer? Um, I don't know because it's like kind of off. Kind of going to stare at you're, uh, it would, it, I'm, you're cross, I would be crossing the center line of Herc. Seems to be like right in front of. Yeah. You, so you don't think there's enough scope? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Okay. You could just say that. Well, I think so, but I'm not 100% sure on it. As it sure. Just but I'd be, rather. Yeah, I I'd get rather you. set up for success. So let's just take two extra seconds. I'm just a physicist, I don't know. It, it actually looks a lot like Apollonaster Kellyi, which is named after Chris Kelly. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure. And if it is that, then we have collected it before, but. Lose pressure. Can I look at a picture of it one yeah. more time? Because if it is that, it might not be worth collecting. That looks very similar. Right there. Looks like the fifth. Yeah, you know, peak this is. is a peak, but the other <coughs> is a little bit shorter, and in the picture is. You think similar right, as it's well. more squat? Ah, well, there is a variation. Sure. I think this would be a good approximation because yeah. you see there that is the mean. Right. Uh, the f the that's a little bit longer and yeah. the other four is shorter. Right. And there as well. Yeah. Could you zoom in on that? Bridge zoom now. We can Want another zoom? Yeah. One zero meters uh, east, okay. please. You close the iris. But in fact, it's more square. It yes. is a little yes. more square and a little like uh, in the center. <coughs> you can't quite see the five, the five um, like sections. Ah. Is that full zoom? Yes, it is full zoom. I'm pretty close to that rock. I can't really get any closer. It still can you rack out? Yeah. I can rack out. But I'm we can say in. CF. Apollon Aster Kelly I. Can we zoom out, please? We turn the down lights on. And then we'll turn the iris down. There we go. Can we zoom in. What are we thinking? Do we want it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I should out. be good on zoom photos too. Okay. So, Leela, you had recommended slurping and then placing into a bio box, correct? I think slurp, and I mean, maybe it might just go up the slurp, but uh, slurp and grab. if it doesn't, then, yeah, put placing it into the forward. I think it's small enough, though, actually. All right, craft coming on. Roger that. Oh, that's not what I want at all. Whoa, what's going on here? Um. Yeah, there you go, use the rocker. Oh, 
Ah, actually like this one also. Mm. I think it's more for this this one than the previous than the one. Other but one. The, the one is quite shallow there. Yeah. You're right. This is yeah, we can say okay. or. Because the, the arms are not quite as long, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can grab the whole thing if you want. Just try not to grab the pulp in with it. You know what I mean? If you don't want to just grab the puck. Oh, no. Any Bridge angle. Now. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Can we have another one zero meters east, please? I'm not. Am I not going down enough? Thank you. No. You got oh, this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Weight Dropper. Good, thank you. There you go. You're just uh, against the rock, yeah. Yep. It does also look somewhat like that, although without the five things in the center. There you go. But it does have that pour, yeah. And grip block. That's another good guess. Again, very poorly described, so we don't know. Gonna have to get you closer, I think. Yeah. Okay, hold on, don't let it go. Uh, just bring it closer, because I don't want the. Uh, the arm so far in front of us if we're going to be flying around. Let me get the arm in bubble. I see. I can't see the left. Lynette, the sample number is 119. 119, thank you. Okay. You're okay. You got space. Can you yeah. come back to that uh, porch view? Yeah. So I can judge distance to that rock. There we go. Man, these places are steep. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to rack out the porch? pictures actually. Stay. Uh, you're not gonna stay. All right, move a little bit more to this side. It's gonna be so cute.
There's some push, yeah. No, it just doesn't want to stay. We have no pressure. So you're just gonna, we're gonna have to do this live. There's too much current and you can't fight current without pressure, so. Um, I will get you, I'm just gonna have to hold it against the rock. Um, here, I'll try to get your suction going. Get you up to 40%. Hopefully we'll still have some jam. Put the porch down on this rock, and then okay, it's about as close as I can get. You can zoom in if a little yes, bit if you like. Yes, yes. Go ahead, Mike. Whenever you feel like you can get it, it's never going to be perfectly stable. You just kind of got to go for it. Go. We got no, he's going to get. Yeah, he. Do you turn it on? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well done. <clears throat> nice job. Okay, I'm coming off the bottom. Get in there, buddy. We can ratchet up the suction now that we're not on the seafloor. 50%. Nice, there, there, there it is. is. It is interesting okay, how much smaller it zero. is. I know. Oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to hang out with it in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you. I bet it has different feelings about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Bridge nav. Was that a sea star you said? It was, Two yes. Zero meters a Gonia west, stare at please. sea star of some kind. But Thank you. Uh, a couple of different options for what it could be. It it there's one that's well described, um, and others that hey, are kind of that. question marks. Oh, so sorry, I thought you were done. Oh, I thought still I did. a worthy collection. I just want to make sure I got it. Oh, you're it good. It looks a little bit yeah, different from the one that's well yeah. described. You're good. Cool. Uh, look and at that a nice view Atlanta. From, uh, yeah. yeah. I hope that's zoomed in. Yeah. Yes, yes. It is. It is. Okay. I think it really freaked me out. Too. Yeah. I was like, it's what's like, your best? Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Oh I mean, yeah. Nice shot. It, it was. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but don't ever do that again. <laughs> don't kidding. ever scare me like that again. Are you logged into Bronwyn's? That was, that was good. What was that? Are you logged into Bronwyn's? Yeah, I am. I was like, what's Bronwyn doing? <laughs> I have no idea why Bronwyn's was on here. Bronwyn's just downstairs on her laptop taking her grabs. <laughs> Wouldn't be the craziest thing. No. Except that it's two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> we have a satellite feed three is uh, the cinema camera. Oh, cool. All right. That's Thank a good you. Good shot of it. That yeah, is right a really now. cool rock shot. Hey, a sponge. Ooh, I was Volleyball. just about to say, I'm kind of surprised there isn't more growing on all this, but there's something. <sighs> Man, that was scary. <laughs> I'm still recovering from the <laughs> Atlanta <Anna> Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what have I done? <laughs> Sorry, Mike. No, it's okay. No, no, it's it good. It's funny. Good. Yeah. Uh, just funny, you know. Think, fearing for the worst. You can turn on it's the down cam. Hard to see from here. Do you want to turn it on? Probably yeah. call a fake is. But there is loads of. Uh, what was that? You zoom in there, Panos. I think it's Colophagus because like it's probably tee. attached on the concave side on the back. That we can't see right now. 
We can get around All it. good on the zoom. Okay, you can zoom out. Yep. There you go. When you're right, you're right. Now zoom in there. That's good. All right, zoom Bridge out. Bridge now. Three zero meters west, please. Thank you. Lots of stocks. What did you call the headless sponges the other night, Michael? Ichabod. Oh, yeah. What would I call the headless sponges? I think I Michael was calling them Ichabod the other night. What were you calling it? <laughs> Ichabods. Ichabods. Where does that come from? The headless horse ones. Oh. Ichabod. Sure. As an Ichabod crane. Wow. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm just saying wow. Oh, it's a beautiful <laughs> view. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, walk the plank by the end of the ship. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of sediment off yeah, to the right. Approaching more sediment as sediment. I would, because it seems so cool, the <laughs> water. I, I know it does, <laughs> actually. And there's other possibilities. Maybe we could, um, if it's in the right direction, run the sediment rock line for a little. Sure. If it is in the right direction. See if we see anything for Haisa. I think we're about to yank. Do we see another any small sponge. life in the still can? Or yeah, yeah we have there's a like a tiny. Prob probably another Calipocus, maybe. Mm -hmm. There is something that looks like bigger in behind, but it's too very far. Yeah, hard to tell. I think there's one of those dead Aspidoscopelias, the backbone looking sponges mm -hmm. in the Let's middle. See it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that tiny sponge is actually on that rock there, on the left. We're really stretched out at the moment, so yeah. just kind of waiting That's for it okay. to catch up. But uh, we can zoom in there and get closer. In yeah, a bit. there's another colophagus in the background, the bigger one. That one's harder to tell. I can't tell if it has the um, osculum on top, in which case it would be the amphidocella again, but I can't really see from here. Can you come wide, please? Bridge now. Can we have two zero meters three zero zero, please? Thank you. Too cool. Colophagus got a really wiggly stock. Uh, shrimp. Mm -hmm. Zoom in a little bit, Pals. There's a shrimp. 
Another two shrimp. Of them. That's two. Oh, there's another. Oh yeah, are the those the worms or anemones um, growing on the stock? It's so thin. The the tentacles the are very tentacles, tiny. Yeah. yeah. Could we look at what's? Uh, I don't know if it's possible to zoom more. Oh, is that full zoom? We will get closer. We're just a little stretched out. Sure. Let's go. This is the right direction too. So, you want to zoom out, James? Um, so we but you saw the two worms in the other stalk. Uh, you can zoom in there if you well, like. Well, yeah, that was our way. guess. The guess was two worms. But the, we we saw big ones. It was oh yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. Uh oh. What? I think they've got. I want to like poke it and see how it yeah. closes up. Yeah. Huh. Get a laser on it, maybe it'll. Oh. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh man. All right. So listen, shrimp. If we give you five bucks, will you go <laughs> run into yeah. that? Maybe it's more of an extortion thing. It'd be better to be like, if you don't go do that, I'm going to yeah, right. <laughs> fry you up with some butter. <laughs> <laughs> some butter, okay, garlic, Okay, zoom shrimp. in there if you'd like. Oops. <sighs> no yawning. Uh, um. <laughs> Two worm. Yeah. Yeah. They? They've got something coming off the. Or hydroid. Like, right in the middle of it. What is that? Yeah, it does have something right in the middle. Yeah. Is that uh, full zoom? That almost yes, looks more hydroid. Zoom. Okay. Break out. <laughs> but it, what's oh, I think you're right. Actually, I've been it's flying the with circle it in. In the Middle, Not that's oh. going to make that much of a difference at this distance. Look at it. I don't know. Oh, where is this? All right. Not much else in this area. I'm leaning towards hydroid now. Mm. Time to go. Are those embedded in the stalk of the sponge, or? Um, Is that attached? I just attached, attached on the outside. Yeah. yeah, I think it's two two solitary hydroids. Coriomorphidae, maybe. Who is this Cori anyway? <laughs> Cori phenoides. That's Corey good there. Can we, we can zoom move out, on. Please? Yes. Corifinoides, Corimorphidae, yeah. Oh, that's perfect, thanks so much. Everybody ready for a sponge joke? Sure. Well, if I say no. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could not say Tubularity. it. <laughs> it's that. it's that for sure. Mm. Why yeah. couldn't the sponge uh. stop watching the movie? Huh. Why couldn't the sponge stop watching the movie? Um... What, why could it? Could they or couldn't they? Why couldn't it? Because they were absorbed. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It was absorbing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at me or with me? Is that your joke or Doesn't one of matter. our commenters? Um, that was uh, Google's joke. Google. Great, now Google's going to become a comedian. Google, eh? Yeah, it was uh, ChatGPT, actually. <laughs> Bridge now. Three zero meters. Two nine zero, please. Thank you. Okay, if we don't see anything, 
like an exciting C pen on this next one. Maybe let's bump to point three. Okay. Zoom in. But that's a something. Yeah. Sponge Semperella probably or Yeah, I think Semperella. It's more on the sandy bit. Alright, zoom out. Mike, did you want some flying time? Uh, so it's a little bit benign. And we're we're kind of going into the current, so it's it's easily manageable by the vehicle. So uh, it's up to you if you would like some. You're no, welcome to it. I'm too tired to drive. <laughs> <laughs> we fly. We fly, don't drive. We fly, we don't drive. We're, we're pilots, Mike. We're diving? I'm not diving. I had a joke, it's gone. We're flying. Thanks for sharing. No. Sure. I'm too you're tired. No, you're non-joke. I won't be engaged. The chat says that chat GPT as a stand-up comedian would terrify them. Yeah, it would probably be pretty funny. Like, just, okay, just, just regurgitate things that other people have said to you. <laughs> I loved, there was, um... One of the pilots was working on something on the last expedition with chat GPT and he was like, you know, <laughs> in case AI comes back in the future and is like, you know, oh, checking who wronged it in the past, I'm going to be very, very polite. Present <laughs> sea star. So anytime that he would uh, enter something into oh, chat GPT and then want to edit it slightly, finite? he'd be like, thank you. Amazing job. Now Raced. do this. <laughs> um, I think it's right. a Brzezinja. Yeah. yeah. I have. The br yeah. Brzezinja. <laughs> <laughs> you what can say that your that? favorite candy is a Brzezinja <laughs> <laughs> next time. You, you know, I could see that as a really cool Harry Potter candy or something. Yeah. Brzezinja? Yeah, I don't know. Something that looked like that. Caramelized, imagine. Can you imagine? <laughs> the Velcro would yeah. hold on to caramel so well. <laughs> is that bigger than normal? That's Kinda a really, yes, it's, it's a, a pretty one. big one, yeah. yeah. The arms look like 30 centimeters each. Yeah. It's a very big Brzezinja. Oh, there is something here in the... F uh, probably it's a sea cucumber, but it would be... Sea so cucumber to the right, you're seeing something? Yeah, if you see in the other camera, you would be... Did we get a good right picture side. of that? Yeah. Cool. Could we well turn off the lasers the briefly, please? Why well, just the one arm not curled, I wonder? That one is uh, sticking out towards us. You know, it's just trying to get the stuff passing, passing this way. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. That one's tired. It's alternating. It doesn't feel like driving right now. So it's been falling up. for four hours. <laughs> All right, can we come wide, please? You say there's something to the right? Did I hear that? Maybe a sea cucumber on the right somewhere. I don't see it here. I guess we saw it in still cam. Oh, I see what you're seeing. Something tiny. Mm. I don't know. Oh, that little, uh, that little guy down there? Yeah, on the left. Ah, there it is. Can you turn the lasers back on? Thank you. Sure. You were thinking of orange color? Yeah, right. We saw yeah. the orange Brzezinja now. Go ahead, Bridge now. Someone in the chat says it looks like an alien flower. 
What are Three you? Zero meters west orange sea cucumber, and kind of. increase speed to point wow. three knots, please. It's very wiggly. Yeah, he's... Are we sure? No, that's yeah. our, our wash. I don't probably. think so. He's a little far away. Really? Yeah, it's current. Wow. Do you think he's having a bad dream? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to have bad dreams about it. All right, can we zoom out, please? If I could only dream. It's quite small, actually. Yeah. If you stay in the corners, then ah, uh, there is something. Maybe a tunicate here. We don't have too much time here, but where do you see it? Further yeah. back here, on the right. Oh yeah, in the right. Yeah, yeah. It's on on the rock. Uh, here. Oh, I see it. Aha. Yeah, it's um another predatory tunicate. They're so it's cool. It's called Mega something. Mega, wow. mega, mega Dicopia, Mega. Let's look what it's called. Is that an eye or is that its digestive tract? Uh, yeah, it's either gonads or digestive organ, some, some internal organ. I wonder if the one that you found could have been like one of these that just had come detached. Well, see, that's mm. like kind of was a thought, except it, it has weird tentacles that but these don't here's have. Well, look. Come and on, it please. was very, very gelatinous. These are not as gelatinous as I. They're mm. they're kind of more thin and like papery. They they have like a cover. Like yeah. Cap, you know, yeah. It's where it, facets like. This was like a really dense gelatinous organism that we found. We can move on from this um, one. Leela, could you spell Brzezinjin? Yeah. B r i s i n. G I D Brizinjit. Thank you. Someone in the chat said, "How do you spell that multi-creature, multi-armed creature?" Yeah, Brizinjit sea star. Still heading west. There, Megalodicopia. Thank you. Yep. Bridge now. Three zero meters, two nine zero, please. Thank you. Uh, that is uh, zoom in on crinoid, that probably. Crinoid? Command to lead. Small thing in front of it. Tadpole. Clearly. Well, fun facts about those tunicates. I don't well, know that this is what that is, but they're the larvae of tunicates look kind of like tadpoles sometimes. Mm. And they still have some of the features of tunicates, at least at some stage in their life, and usually in that larval stage, is a is a nerve cord. And a notochord, and the notochord is what eventually, in chordates like us with vertebrae, develops into into the vertebrae. 
but they, they lose that then. Um, obviously the tunicate we just saw has nothing close to a verte uh, close to vertebrae. Oh, some, I think it's polychaete. Oh they yeah, were. oh it's the polychaete, yeah the swimmer. Oh. Mm -hmm. I would like to manage to It looks focus. like it's climbing a ladder or it something. It does. <laughs> yeah. Like climbing Dancing. forever and ever and not getting anywhere. <laughs> I wonder what its walkout song was. <laughs> dancing, Looks like a samba. Dancing. You are the dancing queen. <laughs> Aft face is not amused. No. It's more of like a hmm. Contemplative. You can leave it where it was. I just turn off the fish. light. Mm, did he some kind fish of fish here? Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Zoom in there, Panos. Did I say the fish joke in this watch yet? I don't know. I don't think so. It's oh pretty, uh, I think it's probably a pretty common one, but um, what do you call a fish with no eyes? Uh, a tenopore. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think you said a tenopore. <laughs> yes, good. It's a psh. Ah, so oh, 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 oh. Psh. 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 That's pretty good. I get it. It's a spelling joke. The best kind, oh. really. The best kind of jokes are all spelling. Like a so lobster. Oh, eat the sand. Dunk. I think this is an another basica, I guess. Those are good images of it. Yeah. Is it eating the sand? Uh, it's a benthic. These are these fish are benthic feeders, so they're not eating the sand itself. But remember, we saw that really cool shot where th with the modified um, pectoral fins that yep. they use kind of to feel around on the sand. So it's looking for small invertebrates that it can eat. Are those... Um the same shows. type of things as barbels on goatfish, or are, are yeah, they're barbels. Yeah, barbels are also mo like the same thing, modified. Yep, pectoral things. Yep. Uh, wow, he's the movements is absolutely. It looks so like feathers on the back. Mm. This fish does not care that we are here. Nope. I think he can't see anymore. <laughs> Blinded yeah. by the light. Let's see. It's cool to watch the way they move. Right, can we zoom out, please? That's can great. We mesmerized yep. by the fish. We sit can here move all on. Night. <laughs> oh, another swimmer. Chat, the oh. chat says it has such a cute snout. It does, but like on a really weird skeleton-y looking head. Those fish are so weird with the head that is a totally different texture almost. Another dancing oh, back worm. to the polychaete. Another, polychaete Another thing. dancing worm. The polychaete we're seeing is in the satellite feed or three <laughs> channel three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dancing, dancing, dancing. <laughs> now that fish really doesn't care, and we're like right on top of it. <laughs> Get back to it. Uh, we have to it's deviate from escape. this transition zone a little bit. We're going to stay on our western okay, path. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it'll come back. Uh, here we can see a little bit more bioturbation, in, in, but not so much uh, send the ribs like yeah. the other place. We're going to have a uh, sponge in the left. Zoom in panels. I swear we've seen this before. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this looks very familiar. It's happened again. It's kind of cool. Keep 
maybe there are pan over to the sponge. How far back from uh, waypoint five did we land, Lynette? Uh, let's see. About 150 like meters. Okay, cool, thanks. Yep. This one looks like lace. This looks more balosoma-y, but kind of a funky shape. You're trailing. Yeah. Come wide, please. There is a tiny crying noise, it looks like here. Sorry, guys, we gotta jump oh, ahead. Yeah, that's okay, we're just pointing stuff out. Yeah. So unless we see a dumb octopus here in the next <laughs> minute. Just gonna get back into a good position. Sounds good. Buy us time for the next yeah, exactly. views. It's a good shot of her. I like yeah. those straight down shots, it looks cool. That is really cool. Don't get that many of those. Like uh, a sponge talk. Yeah. Bye-bye. We haven't seen any uh, coral yet. Yeah, right. I don't think we've seen a single coral yet. And actually kind of less uh, sponges than we normally do. Didn't yeah, we even sparse. deeper down on the seamount see more than we're seeing here, I think? We saw more in terms of benthic, like holothorians and things. I feel like we didn't see much different Maybe a couple of Regadrella sponges and yeah, Cipharellas. That was weird. I think when, a, when an itch turns into like a sting or something. Weird. But if you think this looks so much more recent sediment huh. than everything we have surveyed in the Northeast Atlantic. I think some parts of the Northeast Atlantic, the oldest uh, crust, Earth's crust uh -huh. we have. We do have a little bit of the submarine canyons, but it's, comp it's a different word here yeah. for me. Zoom in, pause. Well, that's oh, like looks really huge. weird looking colophagus. It's got really interesting projections. I've never seen that before. But Bridge it looks now. like it has been seen before. Oh, well, it's got one of those tenophores on it. Mm -hmm. We have five zero meters west, Oh, yeah, west, it does please. have one of the Tina Fours on it. Thank you. Can wow. we zoom out a little bit, please? Uh, I want to make oh, sure. nice, how you saw. That's a cool picture. Can zoom in, like, halfway. Try to keep it in frame. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Amazing. Can you turn the on down lights, please, Mike? I usually like to check with some expertise if the coloration has anything related with the health state mm. of the sponge, because if they have a uh, lifespan, they start yeah. getting like... Yellower. Yellower. But some, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, many, many of them are this kind of yellowy. Someone's mentioning it looks like a loofah. It does. It does. 
probably wouldn't feel like one though. Oh, it's got another ten of oh, yeah. or maybe a uh, yeah. shrimp. I think you're right. Let's see if we can, can we zoom in, Panos. Let's see what that is. Yeah, so you'll see the two tentacles extending out usually. You can kind of see where the two of them would come from. Little white dots. Cool. You can really see right into the sponge through those yeah. pores. All right, can we come wide, please? So good. Question in the chat says, do sponges work similarly to coral as in they turn white when they're dying? Uh, uh, you want me to take that one? Go ahead. Yeah, so no. Um, the reason that you might see corals bleaching um, is because of some symbiotic algae that they have living in their tissues. And this is specifically for corals that are in the photic zones of the ocean. So we are pretty far below that area, there's not really any light penetrating down to this area, so you wouldn't get the same um, bleaching response that you would see in tropical coral reefs. So with sponges, what you're looking at is the color that they are supposed to be, unless they're yeah. decayed or, or dead. So um, these sponges that we're looking at specifically are called glass sponges, named for their kind of glass-like uh, spicules that they grow, which are also a little bit prickly in texture. Um, and they are mostly white, or at least off-white, light-colored that we've seen. Actually, I, actually, is that true? Yeah. Are they mostly yeah. white? There are there like any colorful sponges down below? There are a couple ones that have been observed that are almost like a purpley, light purpley, but I've never seen one of them. Uh, so yeah, all the ones I've seen are... Actually, there is another color. The balsomas, the really big balsomas, some of them are yellow. Mm. So just to go back to it's, the process of bleaching, um, the reason that you might see a coral turn a lighter color when it's stressed out is because those algae actually give the coral its color. The algae that live inside the tissues, they're called um, uh, zooxanthellae. And so those um, algae have pigments in order to capture sunlight. That's what gives them those bright oranges or, or um, different colors. So when temperatures rise, a stress response is to expel those algae from the tissue. And uh, that's kind of what causes that bleaching effect which is not, um, not something you would see down here. Yep. Thanks, Jane. Yep. The chat says orange is really the lucky color today. It is, I know. Kind of orangey, Tina, four things. And then another I feel like it was purple the other day. Another yeah, question here is, will the Triclops camera be a permanent addition to Hercules? I don't know if we know the answer to that one. Should um, be no. Yeah, I think the aim is for <laughs> it to be uh, very frequently used with with Hercules. Or so something Herc like. Yes, right. Or a similar system. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Looks like we have a sponge stop ahead. Keep looking at the Atalanta view, waiting for something. Is there any specific? Fish. Uh, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Is there any specific place that you need to collect uh, rocks? Is it, I'm seeing different Yeah, I was size. starting to think that kind of soon could be good. Because it is a kind of medium size in this area. Yeah, loose, medium-sized rocks. 
We're out, we're out ahead of Atalanta yeah. right now, so we have okay. time if sure. you want. Let's sit down, and I'm sure we can find one wherever you sit down. There's a lot Yeah, there's here. lots right here. You want to get it? Oh, that was quick. Sure, if you want to. Sure. I like doing the arm work. If we zoom in a little somewhere comfortable sure. for the arm, I'll pick something. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I think that, sorry, are we still moving? Yeah. Just the pan and tilt. Um, yep. You see your rock, you do think will be good um like that one right here looks okay good. yeah zoom in on us take a look at it first that's a nice rock okay yeah that's that's a rock that's for sure oh, can we <laughs> zoom out <laughs> careful sorry Where we going? That one right there, yep. This one? Yep. The one you're just about to touch. After we pick it up, I do want to make sure it's not flat, flatter than it seems. Do you want to zoom in closer? Um, yes, please. down, a little further down, there you go. You got it. If you could just spin oh, careful, it a careful. little. Let me zoom out, please. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's just enough. Yeah, that scares me. That's a failure mode. Would you mind spinning it so we can check that it's not Oh, yeah, flat? I, I was just waiting for... Eh. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's flattish, but it's not too flat, I don't think. Okay. Um, we can put it yet. in any of the small starboard bio boxes. Let's go for the aft side to work our way forward for uh, samples that might be harder to hold on to. So D would be great. Okay. Give me a second. And that's one, two, zero data? Correct. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I can see Eric can make sure nothing happens. You're good, bud. Okay. What are we doing? D. D. I D as a box. dog. There you go. Ready for box? No. No. You got it. 
Okay. I look over. I think that's over um, C. There you go. You can go ahead and stow the arm if you're comfortable. Quite follow oh, you around. Come on. Thank you. All right. So uh, while you do that, I'm gonna get going. Bridge nav. That's good there, Mike. Five zero meters west, please. Thank you. That's perfect. You don't have to be too picky. Well, I just wanted to make sure. I don't like bending it in, you know? I hear I you. I just but, wanted um, to make sure it wasn't bent in. So the, the shoulder azimuth is on a it's on a check and the shoulder itself is on a check so when you the arm you could actually like as long as those two joints are okay you could have it like this and it'll just it'll slot nicely underneath itself once we turn hydraulics off so you don't have to be too picky with the uh, stowing we have a lot of good questions in the chat Ooh, please ask how do sponges reproduce mm. Uh, a couple different ways. Oops. All of which I always need to double check on. But um, it can be either sexual uh, or asexual. Oh, uh, uh, we don't really have time to no, stop right no now. Problem. Yeah, no, we gotta uh, get ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Ronan okay. pardon is a tubenimony. I want to see something cool, like a shipwreck mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> that would be pretty amazing.
We have another question about Hercules and Atalanta. Is it complicated to control them? Um, um, yes and no. Individually, no. The ROV is very easy to handle, provided that we get Atalanta in the right position, uh, which is a little bit harder because we control that with the boat, which is 2,500 meters above it. So controlling like Hercules or Atalanta on its own, would you say is complicated if you didn't have to consider the other factors? No, but unfortunately we always have to consider the other factors. Yeah. Um, Atalanta itself uh, kind of, it doesn't really move. It kind of changes heading by itself. Um, it'll turn and spin, make sure it's faced the right direction. But um, as far as actually moving along the sea floor, um, that is controlled by the boat. Hey, so you were talking about taxonomy earlier. Can I ask you a question in the chat about it? Yeah, no problem. With so many different species, is learning the taxonomy just memorization and practice? And does anybody have any tips or tricks they use to help them learn? Well, d depends, because like taxonomy is a science where we describe um, names and classify um, organisms. Sometimes for you to properly identify that, usually we need to have a voucher and, and match the features with what has been already described. And if you don't manage to match it with anything that's already has been uh, accept and describe, then you have to go to the process to describe a new species mm -hmm. or a new taxa or it depends of the level of classification. So nowadays with the advanced thing you have the videos, uh, so there is lots of annotation, but a taxonomic one you call taxonomy is a little bit cheaper than identify by video which is very useful in we, what we are doing because then the taxonomist, you, you'll be able, and who, who is trained for, you'll be able to identify any organism that's a little bit different or even if it has been recorded in the area or not. So if there is a different way you can use taxonomy. If you want to be a taxonomist for described species, is is a science stand by itself but also taxonomy is very important because it's the base for all other kinds of studies for instance if you want to study evolution or biodiversity assess the biodiversity of an area or for population genetics we need to have a refined taxonomy of the place so there's a sea lily mm -hmm. basically um, oh yeah. For if you want to identify species Maybe because you kinetic. dive in, you will be able to Double know check. what's the biodiversity around area you like. There, like. Um, there is several guides and publications that can help you with that. Thank you. I think it's yeah, very welcome. Uh, I saw a shrimp. Is the five arms? Yeah, I was gonna say a higher crinity, but I, it's actually like kind of more sparsely. Uh, higher crinids are kind of more sparsely pinnulated than that. Mm. It's kind of pretty. Not orange, but yellow. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Can we zoom out, please? That's not a coral there, is it? That's another sponge stalk on the right? Yeah, it looks like a sponge stalk. It's quite a long one. Do you want to take a look at it? Um, quick zoom, maybe? Quick yeah. zoom. Maybe just very quickly, if it's possible. Yep. Oh, oh, it is a coral. Oh, it is a coral. Wow. We have our first coral. 
It's a bamboo. It's a bamboo. And we are 2,000, almost 2,300. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I look in this camera and I try to take pictures. I know. <laughs> this is that one. I see you sometimes zooming, looking at that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or focusing. And there's another Chrysogorgid right below it. Okay, we arrive in the Can I have zoom out, please? sweet spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you zoom in again, please? With its Europeicus oh, squat, squat lobster, lobster oh. friend. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. As always, the Chrysogorgids. It uh, it looks kind of. Could we zoom all the way in on that um, Chrysogorgia? It is all the way. In. That's all the way in. Okay, yeah, that's I'm fine. I'm up against the rocks. That's so okay. I can't, yeah, I can't get close. It to almost it. looks like the saddlebaggy one, but it's hard to tell if that's just the angle of the polyps. Okay, thank you. Can you zoom out, please. Yeah, thank you. That's a really thick skeleton on that bamboo. Paula sent me her list, but uh, I don't. I don't think the Euro the Europe Tychus ones. We've collected so many of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, could you pull that one up again, Jane? Which one? This one here? Was it the Hyacrinid? This one has these longer oh. kind of Yeah. It looks a little more like what it. Is there? A Venus fly oh, trap. Oh, very nice. And it is, looks like a small colony there as well. The one we saw in the last dive kind of pulled everything inside, right? Uh, yeah, it yeah, did. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That was oh, cool. Oh, yes. As soon as we got closer, he kind of What are you looking at it. next to it? A there tiny a, coral. Uh, yeah, there is a tiny coral there. You can't tell from here what it is. We'll get closer. Can we zoom out, please? And the Venus. Um, oh, there's a what big Brazingid on the right. Oh, is that what that was? And another Chrysogorgid. Wow, it's just like right here, all of a sudden, life. I think you said 2,200 meters, right? Really yeah, right? The, yeah. A little deeper. Well, that's a cool shot of the inside. We got a chat that says squat lobsters are always on the scene. Yeah, they are. They're what? They're always on the scene. <laughs> Just squatting around. Always squatting. Well, after you were trained by Paula. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before her. I wonder if they're right. called squat lobsters because they have squatter's rice. Crazy gorgeous. Yeah. So another question nice is. Picture. If you found a new species, are you allowed to name it? As an ROV pilot, I can say if no. You <laughs> <laughs> You've tried. I have, I have, we've found new species, and I, I was not allowed to name them. Aww. I think they're right to be for the one that is describing, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. The cinema can zooms. Yeah, it does. Blew my it has mind. an. It has an all the way in and an all the way out. There's no in between, but it does zoom. This picture, even with the hurt cam, though, is amazing. Yeah. But yeah. for me, it looks a little bit out of focus. Yeah. Can is there any place? way to adjust it? I think there that you go. Be that looks better. Oh, so our cinema me, cam James? is on satellite yeah, feed we three. Out, yes. We can move on whenever. Yeah, we gotta we gotta move on. This <sighs> is a little bit of a. Yeah, well, it doesn't, that doesn't stop, like, common namings, you know, if you just, if you're persistent, you know, just have it, put that in the mainstream. These which are Ichabods, these are Ichabods. Some, <laughs> <laughs> which some of the, uh, like, tentative names I, on the NOAA Deep Sea Guide are the, like, funny names that people came up with <laughs> for those on the watches, like the Farad Turbocharger Sponge. Nice. Yeah. And uh, there is a, a species of uh, a genus of um, 
Black Coral. 3-0. 3-0 uh, early. Oh. Uh, and it's really yellow, the Keep ones we huh. have in our Jesus plant. So we are calling um, Curly Fries. Curly Fries. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Or those big yellow of balls of foam I was food. talking about. They look like <laughs> moons. We moons have six things. more minutes until we can talk about food. No, I'm just saying, color fried like Once coral type three. stuff. It's like, of course, it's gonna be called like a food thing. Oh yeah. They probably find it in the middle of the night and be like, oh man, that looks like some curly fries. <laughs> 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 looks like Swiss cheese. Yeah, there's a question about the lasers. So the laser lasers are for measurement, and they're 10 centimeters apart. 10 meters. <laughs> 10, 10 meters, meters, yeah, yep. this is all giant. It's huge down there. Uh, it's the pressure, really. It's, it, like, spreads everything out. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's the opposite. The there's a lot of physics. Opposite. There's a lot, there's a lot of it. There's yeah, a lot you're, of not a, you're not a physics PhD. Well, we, no, the we mass wouldn't would, know. The mass would cause everything to spread <laughs> out evenly. The chat says the mystery squishy becomes the scientific name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mysterious squishiness. Yeah. Miss squish. <laughs> the squishosity. Just make it go viral and that's what it will be. Pretty Squishinitis. Steep. And we have a question about Atalanta. So, yes, Nautilus is the ship. Argus and Hercules um, are both ROVs, but we're not using Argus right now, we're using Atalanta. That's true. So I think I'm going <laughs> to make a call if someone that speaks Portuguese would like to ask any question. So, hola. É, estamos aqui a 2.285 metros de profundidade. É, se você está seguindo a gente, quiser fazer alguma pergunta, tem o chat no, no site da, da expedição, nautiluslive.org. E tem pessoas que falam português e espanhol também. A gente pode responder para vocês. I heard you say, e espanhol também? <laughs> Sim. <laughs> It's so much easier to understand your Portuguese than someone in Portugal, like okay. Brazilian Portuguese. I'm like, yeah, that's basically Spanish. I understand everything you're saying. But the the Portuguese accent is I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about at all. <laughs> it looks like they're always angry. <laughs> <laughs> Lila, you, <laughs> you have a shout out in the chat from a friend. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you want me to say the name out louder. Oh, it's Loopy. <laughs> oh, hi, Loopy. Loopy was um, the ocean science intern on our last, uh, on our Kingman and Palmyra expedition oh. just now. Hi, Loopy. So nice of you to join us. What time tuck, is it? Tuck. Way too early. Oh, I guess it's your morning on the East Coast. Or Central. Bridge now. Yeah. Um, jumping back to the naming of species question, um, one of our shore Three scientists, zero Asako, meters. has said that she's named some Three zero zero, new species please. with the name pass. of the research vessel that found Thank you. the oh, new that's species. Cool. And actually, I was looking into certain um, Dumbo octopus species, and some of them are like, uh, was it Tutha Pluris? Uh, discovery eye, or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> challenger cool. eye. Man, so many mm. four wow. scientific names. That's another. Look at this fish. Very cool, Cuskiel. So far, I think we saw only one species of fish today. Yeah, I th this well, they look only all one the same. group. Yeah, oh, I think this is the yeah. basic, I guess. Uh, it looks like it's I I want to say I want to say yes, this but it looks a little bit it different. is a little humped, and I can't yeah. remember if that's a different one. Yeah, it's got kind of a more of a sloped. Um, there are ones that, that have one? the really skeletony face, like. Like they have a look like they have a mask. Yeah. The I body of that. this fish looks um, flatter, if that's a way to describe it. The other ones look really there long and go. narrow. He's really close. Uh, some of the best guys have that hump too, but it's the it's the face. I know there's a picture in here that's like oh. You don't that think that face. one. Uh, Second, second column. Wait, like this. Go left. Hmm. Like, 
I think it's, yeah, I think it's still just okay. fast things. Yeah. Nice, great fish shot. Thank you. Oh. I want to see if I get in the triclops. Oh, yeah. Let's see if he'll let me get closer. Turn the down lights on. Thank you. Oh. Grimpo tooth. It's not tooth pleuris. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Many tooth. Okay, I'm very surprised he's let us come this close. Could you focus a little more, Hisa? Yeah. Oh, it's zoomed That's in. Good. That's right. Yeah, it is zoomed <laughs> in. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's still pretty close. Still pretty yeah. close, though. Yeah. It's oh, just popped in the bubble. A little focus. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a so really good. good camera. It is a great camera. I think it's because it's in a different position. Definitely. Yeah, I think it's the angle. Because it's lower. It's, just that. it's, it's like the. It's totally that. It's because it has like a, a novel positioning mm -hmm. that you don't normally get. It's true. It's, uh, like. But it can also get so close to it's stuff. It's almost like the. Oh um, yeah. It's partially the colors. I don't know. It looks more real. The clarity is definitely better. I think. Yeah, it looks like you're looking into an aquarium with that yeah, camera, and this right. one looks like you're looking through a camera. You know right. What I mean? Totally. So if you're wondering, we're talking about the Triclops camera on channel three. Well, that's also because of the lighting. Because the lighting the same is. Lighting. The light. No, the lighting is made for. Her, uh, the camera to be in the center of all that. So, of course, it's going to look like that. If we, if we were to change, I could, next time, I'll turn off some of the lights. Go for it. See what we could see. I'm kind of following this fish because he's going oh. in the right direction. <laughs> okay, <and> sure. <laughs> he's guiding us. He might, he might lead us to his friends or something. I don't know. <laughs> we have half an hour left to see a, a Dumbo octopus. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. goes yeah. <laughs> there mm -hmm. he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> I really or wish she. you got your superpower, Mike. Really, really. Yeah, like we all just break out there. I don't think anybody wants that. Ah, uh, you were amazing. <laughs> there was there was a moment during sunset this evening that we all talked about that being the perfect moment for a flash mob. <laughs> For a flash mob? Whatever yeah, you call that it. The then we do choreo, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, what did you uh, yeah. choreograph? Uh, <laughs> Not chore no. choreogated. It's corrugated. Uh, corrugated. Uh, corrugated. Uh, corrugated. Isn't that called a flash mob when everybody like sings yeah, and dances? It is. Um, okay. All right. Sorry. It is. What is it when they're doing chore uh, choreographed Zero swimming? Ooh. The mad sure. cars. Oh, that's um. Oh Thank gosh, spider? like a something sure. acrobatics. The water yeah. water aerobics. There we sure. go. Yeah, it's an amatic car. This is a like long, oh, like a, a really daddy long legged shrimp. <laughs> the daddy long legged version oh. of the shrimp. It's too close. Okay. When getting the corners then it's yeah. so hard. I'll zoom us out again. Oh, we're at the top of the little ridge here. Ooh. Ooh. We're at waypoint six, if we haven't already noted oh, that. Oh, thank you. I was gonna wait until we get right to Very it. Very close to it, yeah. Close enough. Man, it's like it knew we put a waypoint here. Man, alive! That's a cool. It's like a cliff kind of cliff. And still not covered in life. That we can see. That we can see. Mm, very good. Yeah, really, very, s very few corals. Which means that the second we hand over. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm surprised we haven't learned yet. Sea cucumber. Uh, we got a lot. We got a lot of responses in the chat. It's synchronized swimming. Synchronized, synchronized swimming. swimming. Right. <laughs> 
not water aerobics synchronized that, focus. That's what would have, have happened at sunset. You know, <laughs> we would have, you would have had us go synchronized. Well, well, yeah, because it's like, oh, da da ba 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 da ba, and then you just dive in. We all just dive in, just a one big man overboard drill. Do you guys ever done a aqua cycling, where you do like a cycling class? Oh, with I've the never bikes done that before. Is it hard? No, that sounds so hard. It, it wasn't that hard. I mean, it's not like you have to go as fast as if you're not in water. Oh, okay. Uh, but it was fun. Interesting. I've done it one time. <laughs> That sounds like something you do at an all-inclusive resort yeah. one time, and then... Like, I had that experience. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I've done it. Tuck, 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 tuck. A crinoid, maybe? Crinoid. In the it. edge of the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can see the sea here. I want to... See a right. I don't know how. Is it bent Siri? over in the current? Mm -hmm. What was that? I said, is it bent kind of in the current? Is the current coming by there? Is that the direction you're feeling the current from? Yeah. It's another little yeah. sea star on top of that rock, too. Same one we collected. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a nice view. Tug. Tug, 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 tug. Can you come wide, please? I'm getting cold. Bridge now. I love when I hear like bridge. Not Three zero yeah. meters <laughs> west. Turn the lasers back on, Mike. Please. Thank you. Thank you. So much call Vegas. Nothing but call Vegas. We'll definitely have to end this in our summary of this watch. It's like. Yeah, Rubble with interspersed sand Vegas? and a whole lot of colophagus. Moved upslope through variable terrain alternating between larger boulders, sheet flows, and rubble sediment fields. Very sparse Perfect. fauna, primarily colophagus sponges. First coral scene in yep. 2290. Perfect. Uh, eight meters, not feet. It's a Beautiful. lot of words to say we didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's going to be the first two hour chunk of our dive report. <laughs> And uh, knowing our luck, it'll be the last <laughs> two dives, uh, last two hours before we are set. Uh, no, we are gonna have our drop into the summit of the seamount, cool, covered in yellow and purple fans. Last two hours of the of, a, of, of the dive. That's like what I'm manifesting. Zoom in, pals. Uh, either Sebrel or Polyopagon, depending on... I think Polyopagon, it's on the rock. I don't know, hard to tell. And quite small. Yeah. Compared to the other huge comments yeah, we yeah. seeing. Looks yeah. like there's a number two on it. Notice that? They're just above the lasers. There's like a little two. Maybe, my, uh, maybe I'm just shack. overtired. I know, I'm fading first. It says, I swear, it says there's a two I just on the top. It says two. There's a two on it, on the very top. Look. The number oh, I do see oh, it. I, I see, see it. it. I was like, what it's are like you talking nice, about? It's like a nicely formed two. Oh, there is something inside. It's so of like yeah, I was looking at that too. I don't know if it's like a little isopod or... Um, uh, I thought you had lost your superpower, I don't know if you had a arm of <laughs> yeah. our friend. Where's number one? Uh, yeah. going, number two? Oh, number one. Oh, wow, that was a memory. Sorry about that. That's, what was the memory? Repeat it. Uh, bananas and pajamas. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, I used to love that. I would rent that stuff from the library. That has not crossed my mind in, I like, <laughs> at least 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all talking about? Amazing. Amazing. Banana bananas and pajamas. pajamas. This is an old show where oh. there's literally people dressed up as bananas wearing pajamas. Oh, my gosh. How are you doing, number one? I'm doing great, number two. <laughs> Like striped pajamas. That's right, and they refer to each other as one number and two, one and two. two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Can we when zoom out, <laughs> so that's that's why I heard when they said like, oh, number one. 
Oh, right, number two. I'm gonna look that up. I haven't. I have an image in my head of what that looked like, <laughs> but there, it's just like blue and white striped, uh, two, uh, you know, button down and pant pajamas. Whoa! Do they have this hair on top? This is way different is from the way I remember. They do have this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's gotta be a reboot. So crazy, but this one. Jesus why are there they're animated AM ones? High. There, yeah, there yeah, are. They no. weren't animated. This they is weren't animated, no. so actually scary now. Yeah, that they are creepy. I'm looking at it oh. not as a child. This is oh, a lot of, a lot of. They also look like minions. Oh, Did you see they're wearing things uh, touching the stalk of this sponge. If you can zoom in, please. Oh, there's some stuff like on oh, the yeah. stalk too. The bottom, I think That's is, what she's uh, saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a uh, squat lobster down. Squat lobster? Let's see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like a barnacle? Totally could be. Could be a hydroid, could be a barnacle. No, it's not. The, the but the, the pink thing could be a tinafore. Mm. Hydroids. <laughs> Look at the more pebble field too. Tubularian, tubularian hydrates. We are exactly on waypoint six, sitting on it. Whoa! This is where the pin is. They aimed for this sponge in particular. <laughs> is, is this the pin? Oh, wow, that's yeah. wow it's there. covered in stuff. We're yeah. looking at it. Oh wow! We're looking at it. This is waypoint six pin. Oh, brilliant. Well, maybe it's like a couple feet to the left. Maybe too, to the too right. much. <laughs> yeah. You say say that you think those are tube worms or tubularians, the 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 same hydroid that we saw earlier. You can zoom in, huh? But there is something here. Yeah, that looks kind of like a barnacle almost, but it's big. Stocked barnacle. I don't know. Oh, it's amazing. And it does have another one of those Tina fours. Sometimes for me to see if it's focused, I need to go out for yeah. and come back to see where is the... The sweet spot. Yeah. I think it's here. So many tubularians. Why this stock, huh? Mm. Why? But look at the, in the triclops, you can see the current, all the marine oh snow yeah. flying by. There's so much. Okay. All right, zoom out, please. Yeah, it's cool how you could see in triclops, too, how the... I mean... Ooh. I didn't... Oh, oh it looks so tall. He's oh, and about... Where is it? Wow, it's really big. Well, but that's far away, so it's hard. That's yeah, not actually 10 centimeters. No, but it was. Uh, when it was on. When it was here. You mind doing the focus? Do you want to put the lasers on it? Oh, yeah. uh, no, it's okay. Wow, this is right. amazing. So right. If we could get a little bit with the tri -clubs. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's zoomed in right now, by the way. Is wow, beautiful picture. Yeah. Triclops footage recording as well, or is it only taking still frames? Uh, it's only taking still frames. Is it too much? No. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you so much. No problem. Someone in the chat says they vote for a massive coral garden growing on a whale fall with lots and lots of complex macroorganisms. Yeah, sure. In we the next can 17 minutes, all though. Vote only. for that. Yeah, including right. a new species of octopus. Yeah, Either now wow. or in eight hours. Three zero <laughs> two five <laughs> zero. Please. Take your pick. Adoption. Like they're gonna get something crazy. Like it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Like older. it's falling. Got, like, shadows. <laughs> yeah, that, that Atalanta view looks like another right world. From current, I think that's from the sa sedimentation, yeah. you know, behind the rocks. Can we zoom in? Ooh, Ooh like a halosaur? Snipe eel? Yeah, maybe it is an actual eel. 
Whoa. Interesting. Cool. It's not really moving its body it's at all. It's just no, kind it's of just cruising. Yeah, it's with the current. So funky. It's funky looking, eh? Any idea what it is? It's some kind of eel. Um, it's undescribed. Can I name it? <laughs> <laughs> For yourself? What would you name yeah. it? <laughs> For myself. It looks a lot like one called Faciolilla, which is a creative name. Do I have to? Does it have to be some stupid Latin name? Can I pick a regular name? No, whatever you want. Snipe eel. Snipe eel. Venefica is another one it looks like. <laughs> um, the larger group that Ooh. it is in is... Wow, that's cool. Echids. <laughs> the like Nettostomatidae is the family I think this is in. It's on the porch. It's like right there, right? In front of yeah. bubble. Yeah, it's it right is. Okay, I gotta, um, yep. I gotta get back up to the top of the hill here. Maybe not quite a snipe eel. Those are longer and skinnier than I thought. Bye bye. And a shrimp. And probably deeper. Yeah, not a snipe eel. It's a tube fish. Do they have those? Tube, tube fish? fish? Tube fish? There's fish, fish that, that live, live in tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Jawfish do that. You know. Interesting. Never mind. Thought I saw something. Venefica species eel. No, that's that's the sponge. Advena magnifica is a sponge. No, I was looking at. Oh, that. Yep. Yep. The ET sponge. Yeah. That was the one that I had pulled up. ET sponge Advena magnifica. You're flying away. You just gotta turn to your left there, bud. I don't know if you're controlling that or not, but there you go. Oh uh, no, it's uh, you were tugging. It's coming north to come back into uh, yeah, yeah into scope. Because we followed that eel west, or almost south, sorry. The tube fish. <laughs> Look at all these nodules. Yeah, it would be a great um, scoop? collect for the future watch. <laughs> <laughs> we could sit here and Speaking scoop. Speak of the devil. You want to scoop? Bridge now. They don't have to. Uh, they will. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. Unless you're you're like I really want to. We're just we're here. Yeah. Let's do Might it. As well. How much left do we have on our move? Stand by. Uh, we have five meters left. Uh, you want to just hold it? Uh, Are we? We're gonna sample this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it'll stay. All right, uh, cancel that bridge. Never mind. <coughs> oh, Excuse me. Yeah. That's going to be a big swing. It's OK. <laughs> this is like Tim popping up. <laughs> oh, sorry. See the front row folks, they always get that background, so like all the blinky lights. Ours is always the studio. Michael, I have a good question in the chat for you if you're yep. available. Go for it. Um Hold on for just a second. Sorry, I just lost it. If you had, if you had 
to choose the voices for the ship and the ROVs in a Cars-like movie, uh. who would you choose? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let's just start with Hercules. Well, now Hercules has to have a personality. But not me, and now we have to figure out a personality. It was a lot easier to, to find a per Herc personality when Norbit was on. Yeah, right. Because it looked like a top hat. <laughs> Just straight up. So we're not personifying um, Hercules. But let's see. Ooh, what voice would make a good... Yeah, like is Hercules tough or kind of jokey or... Paul Rudd. Like a Paul uh, Rudd type. Oh, well, there we go. Nice scoop. Reminds me of ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's today. Yes, it is. Yeah, oh, it's after 3.30. We can talk about it. Every three days, I think it's Sunday. Finally, it's happened to me. <laughs> oh, want some mm -hmm. more? Is that a jelly? Send yeah, a little more, please. Lila, these can go in any of the bio boxes, right? Uh, e or F. A or F, okay. If um, if you can spin your uh spin your wrist, so you can do it away instead of dig like that. It's um, unless that's easy. Hey Logan. It's easier like this. Logan. Logan. Now I'm gonna do it this way so that we don't push ourselves off the cliff. So that wouldn't be good. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. Be kind of funny. Let me, uh... No, it wouldn't. <laughs> nice. I thought... Uh, sorry. Well, you tell me when to stop scooping. I don't know. If someone said something, it wasn't over SPL. <laughs> All right. Uh, can we shake it out a little and look at? Oh, that's probably enough. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> it rips open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So somebody in the chat says they think Hercules would be like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> uh, sample. Uh, let's go for Biobox E. What would it? You ready? Yep. Um. E, e? Mm -hmm. or is it F? That's fine. Do your thing. Uh, e's fine too. Whatever. You're in matter. it. You're there. Okay. This is even better. I just figured uh, might get too much sediment in the other bio boxes, but this works. you just drop into the bucket? <laughs> Thank you. There, you can close that. I like that it's not a box and it's not a bucket. It's a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> drop into that bucket. <laughs> Dang, bucket. I'm ESL. Don't make fun of me. Bobby? <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> American as a second language. 
yeah, that's right. I only speak Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time we thought it was just an act. Eh? Although you're just as North American as the rest of us, excluding Paisa. Yeah. And Panos. <laughs> Oh, wow, making yourself known. All right, signing off. We're at 2,277 um, meters, getting ready for a shift change, okay, watch I change. Uh, boat stop, right? Okay, so then that's good. Oh, I didn't note the rock that we took on here. Bye. Jane, could you pull up the info for uh, the rock that we took? Yep. It was a One, small 120. Oh, hold, on, hold on, sorry, I was looking at the wrong sample form. Um, of about a 15 centimeter subangular black flattish rock, sample 120. Um, depth and time. Oh, you mean you want it from here? Hang on one second. Or whatever. No. Time was 13.07. Depth was... Two three oh
Good morning, 48. Good morning, all. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Delightful, Good morning indeed. Lovely. Um, Delightful. Science. Delightful. Top of the morning, science. <laughs> uh, currently, we are uh, looking over to the left here, this little cliff that also shows up on the of the tree. Uh, is the interest to uh, kind of follow the edge of this cliff and make our way down to waypoint seven? Yeah, try and avoid to go down slope as much as possible. Roger, no downslope. We have the same goals, Steve. Yeah. Great. Funny Good how work. that works out. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. nice when things align. Well, in that case, I reckon we will move due west to 70. And uh, RV, are ready to put in a move? Uh, sure. Great. Bridge now. Can you come up a bit? I'm going to go directly underneath. Coming Good up. morning. Um, three zero meters, two seven zero, please. Sure. All righty. Good morning, four to eight online viewers. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, current time, Hawaiian standard time is 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.01. We are currently diving at 2,273 meters, water temperature of 1.9. I feel like that's the warmest it's been in a while, diving at these depths. My name is Brittany. I'm one of the science communication so fellows here on the EV Nautilus. We have a wrap-in, so there's going to be a bit of weirdness with the tether. Up. And I just want to make sure we don't end up with a little loop. And today we are exploring an unnamed seamount in the northwestern limit of the EEZ okay. surrounding Johnston Atoll. So just like always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the chat. If you're looking for the chat box, it is below the, vid the video screen that you're seeing. Um, so you can ask questions, write comments. We'll try our very best to address those. So right now I think we have one positive wrap in. Okay. If it's possible, can we grab a rock? Yeah, mm. let's grab a rock. <laughs> let's get a rock. <laughs> it's always second. possible. It's no, been it's one not. minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Are we surprised? Start the day off right. Grab a rock. Yeah. Uh, we've got. Yeah. Is this a grab and go? Uh, what, what's on your mind? We have 20 meters on the move. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh no, that's fine. But we're we'll, also ahead. We'll of, be in and out really fast. There's another one of those uh, urchins right in front of the truck.